Hello and welcome back, all my theorists. Today's video is something I never thought I would cover because no one really talks much about the Oscars anymore, as we can see from the statistical graph. I also don't cover these types of topics on my channel, but since this was the slap heard around the world last night and has broken the internet, I thought I would explain why this slap was not only staged with proof, but to also remind you it wasn't the first time a comedian got slapped on live TV. That's right, the original TV slap heard around the world was by Jerry the King Lawler, who tweeted today that he and Andy Kaufman did this 35 years ago which perhaps was the best feud in television history. On David Letterman, both guests would appear, and after Andy Kaufman was being Andy, I could have sued you for everything you're worth. Well, and I didn't, because that's, I'm not that kind of a guy. Yeah. You know what, uh, what kind of a guy are you? <laughs> I'm going to you know, pause here for station know, I... identification and get the hoses out here. No, no. Of course, the wrestling icon Jerry Lawler sold this slap much more convincingly, so this feud was thought to be legitimate. Eventually, it was revealed that the feud was staged and that Kaufman and Lawler were friends. What is crazy is this wasn't disclosed until more than 10 years after Kaufman's death when the Emmy-nominated documentary, A Comedy Salute to Andy Kaufman, aired on NBC in 1995. So with abysmal ratings and views, the Oscars had to do something, so Will Smith and Chris Rock said, I got you. Now let's look at the video and evidence to see why there are so many clues this historic night at the Oscars was in fact well-planned. First, the joke, to set up the slap. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right. <laughs> Even Will is seen here laughing off the joke. However, that mood would quickly change as Jada is visibly upset. So many say Will saw that Jada was upset and this is where he changed his tune and decided to go on stage except several key factors. The Oscar winning actor and Chris Rock would give away in this exchange show that it was in fact staged. First, Chris Rock is a very animated individual and talks with his hands, except when Will Smith decided to walk up on stage, Chris decides to put his hands behind his back. I don't know about you, but Chris might be the first person in the face of danger to do this. If it wasn't staged, Chris would have taken a more defensive stance and put his hands up in front of him saying he was sorry before Will even got close to him. It's a natural response to imminent danger to put your hands up not put them behind your back. Next, Chris reveals to us he knows exactly where the slap is coming from. Not only does Chris have his hands behind his back, but he also decides to lean in and towards the side that Will Smith plans on slapping Chris. This is Chris obviously bracing for impact because he knows that Will has told him that he will slap him with his right hand. There is nothing natural or organic about this entire slap. If Chris didn't know Will was going to get on stage, he would have taken a defensive position and not leaned into exactly where the slap was going to come from. Furthermore, Will Smith broke character after the slap, as we see from this unedited slow motion footage, as Will is walking back to his seat, he has a smile on his face. Here is a still shot exactly after the moment Will slapped Chris. He is clearly smiling, then he regains his composure to walk back to his seat. So many in the audience then thought this was a staged event. They laughed at the moment, but here comes the sell. Will Smith needs to sell this scene as legitimate, so many say this is why the slap wasn't staged. Except, let me remind you, Will Smith just won an Oscar for Best Actor. It's what he does. So he used real emotion and screen profanity in a live event to legitimize the slap, then elevated it further to create this moment where then everyone in the audience was like, wait, is this real? It has to be real. We have the shock on their faces, the awkward silence that follows. Chris Rock said it. That was a uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. And it arguably might be, as after the event, social media and Twitter exploded with memes from every niche known in existence. Even anime, which I cover, got memes now, to politics, which I do try to avoid, but... Will Smith and Chris Rock just provided memes for 10 years and created a moment in television history that will be discussed for a very long time. Now I'm not going to discuss the legal or social implications of this, that is for you to do in the comments. 
However, Chris said he wasn't going to press charges, and well, why would he if this was staged? With movies being subpar in recent years and fans losing interest for the big screen, Hollywood needed drama to bring it back into relevance on its biggest night with all the video clues I laid out in this video. Tell me, do you think this slap was staged? If it was staged, was it better than Jerry and Andy's slap on Letterman? I always love to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Just remember to keep it friendly and most importantly, I hope everyone stays safe and has an amazing day.